Okay. You think it's one of those old movies where the old cop bites the bullet does days before retirement, okay? You're gonna miss this. Just back to being an average Joe. You got two tag team positions anyway, you're not gonna need me. I'm gonna miss you, brother. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't want anybody else taking my place, though, okay? Go kill somebody, all right? <laughs> Go on. King Seven on the move. Every one of us killed, that's what's gonna happen here. Wanna go to choir practice after this? Drinks are on me. Roger that. Ready? And three, two, one, move! Oh, don't point that thing at me! My guys aren't taking a hit for this one. We got some lawsuit, we got a complaint coming down. I'm rolling right over on Doyle because this is all his fault. Yeah, there's no need to light your torches or get at your pitchforks, Harris. This is not a witch hunt. Not yet, it's not. Right. The fact is that this task force is a complete waste of time. I'm only interested in the facts. The intel checked out. <laughs> That's an interesting choice of words. We're still waiting for the search warrant to come back for verification. No one wants a lawsuit. The search warrant was good. My CIA has never been wrong. Yeah, maybe you should get a handle on your snitch. You're excused, officer. <laughs> Gentlemen. Ma'am. Right. Well, your task force hasn't turned up anything tangible in six months. How does internal affairs play in? We're just here to help. And you're FBI, right? Agent Albert Pierce, Detective William Roca. So, a few street-level arrests and all other attempts at major players have been unsuccessful. We're building a case and plugging a hole. Lieutenant Doyle, we believe there is a leak in your task force. We know that you didn't choose your team on this one. 
What can I do for you? This is your first major task force in the department, correct? It's in my file. These gentlemen are going to be digging into your task force. We don't expect to find anything. We never want to. Just know that we have your back on this one. This is not going to leave this room for now. Anything else? I have some interviews I have to conduct before I find my report. That's all for now. Thank you, Lieutenant. It's easy for a good man or a good cop to make that first mistake before he spirals out of control. And soon after he's gone, there's usually nothing left before that early grave. We always try to catch that first step, Detective. If we have any more questions, we'll be in touch. So, I'll see you soon. Take over the, the cameras using the Wi-Fi and, and they can see everything. They can see us right now. Fuck this shit. Ooh. into people's houses like that. I have rights. <laughs> 64 gigs of RAM. Look at these processing speeds. I am the only thing keeping you from finding love in a prison bathroom. I gave you that crack house in A Street were leveled. There was no crack house. I was just now cutting the line of dope. I got there last night. Well, it wasn't there today. Someone must have tipped him off. Oh. Come on, man. You don't think I'd do that to you, do you? Why should I believe you, Eddie? You're the only one standing between me and jail, right? You're coming with me. Where are we going? I need a good bust and fast. I've got nothing. That was the only plug you'd want. You gotta give me something, Eddie. I know a guy. Who's this? That's Mouse. <laughs> Dude. That was awesome. This is Willie Doyle. Sergeant Doyle? Oh. <laughs> The, 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 the processing speed is, is incredible. You, this is the fastest computer on the market. Consumer market. There's some major players running an auto shop in Sun Valley, pushing mad treats. They know you? They know both of us. Um, what are you doing, Mel? Eddie, it is time for us to start playing cops instead of robbers. Tell me more. Push through! Push through! Stay with me. 
asshole. Stay with me. I don't care, my guy. You're gonna be fine. I promise. You're gonna be fine. Medic! San Vicente cartel spot. A, a, a what? It's just a place to score some toes. Good cop got shot. No, no, no. Guns. You said no guns. I didn't see any. I don't think. Fuck. We were in the front room. Is it bad? He's gone. There are ten cops in there that want to kill you right now. I'm so sorry, man. I didn't mean for anyone to get hurt. I told you. I told you that they might be packing, and you find a safe in the office with a stash, too. You were going to introduce me to the lieutenant of the local contact cartel. Hey, fuck you. Hey, we are like spies, man. Hey, get out with a wire next time. I don't know the difference between a nickel dealer and a cartel. They don't get us. They come after our neighbors, our friends, our family. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know why they call Las Vegas Sin City. I love coming to Los Angeles. They got plenty of greed, envy, lust. There's nothing like it. I love it here, Lou. Papa. Ellie loves you, Clavo. And she'd be happy to love you as well. Cece, we need another round, huh? Te digo. No, no, no. Cecilia, you don't hear me talking to you? Hermano, leave your stepdaughter alone. Let me get one of my hermosas on it. Cecilia. Muchachos. You're supposed to be posted up. What are you doing here? Hey, uh, babe, go we'll get a drink or something, right? I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, right? We lost the body shop, Lou. Vago opened fire and uh, killed the blue. The cops came in and, man, they just blasted him. And half of our crew got popped. 
and the rest got locked up. What's he talking about? Tito, what are you talking about? Mouse is one of our pushers down in Long Beach. He showed up with this white boy named Eddie. Hey, look, man, what homeboy's trying to say is the law came in and jacked everything up, man. That's what's up, right? So you're saying this white boy set us up? This white boy came in, he bought a gram, right? Next thing I know, he takes off, we're in a shootout with the cops. That's what I'm saying. That's the way I want to go out, shooting out the cops. <laughs> there ain't no money in dying, people. Yeah, but there's no money in being a punk-ass bitch either, man. What you gonna do? You gonna let this white boy snitch out there, man? Just talk shit on us? Huh? And you ain't gonna do nothing about it? Man, you get getting weak, homie. You're soft, dog. You think I'm soft? I'm asking you a question. <laughs> man, I'm just tripping, man. My bad, man. Look, check this out. All I'm saying is, this white boy's talking to the cops, and next thing I know, he's not cuffed up. Tell me. Who is this cop? He's some pretty ass white boy, I don't know. Find out if Vago's boss was a one-time thing or is it an ongoing investigation? You go find both of them, skin them alive and bring me back a jacket. I'm here to speak to Clavo. Hey. That's that white boy cop, man. That's the one I was just telling you about. You got some balls, officer. Just here to talk. Choose your last words carefully. You bust up my shop, come into my doghouse. What's your name, Lieutenant? Doyle. Why shouldn't I drown you and your boy right now in my pool? Look, I know who you are. I didn't know that was your shop. Did you kill my boy, Wabu? No, I did not. What are you selling, boy? Insurance. I got a lot of that. Oh, yeah? Where was your insurance when we hit Vago's shop, huh? You don't have to kill me. Let me work for you. Bring a couple of shots of tequila for my new friends here, huh? How about some blow? <clears throat> no. I don't know much about insurance. I like to have new friends. You know, most men think that they're worth more when they're alive than dead. And that's not true. Maybe I should just poison you and be over with it, huh? Be done with it. I'm gonna take a walk, Lou. Keep your eyes in your own head. Don't you walk around like no one or nothing can touch you in this world. There's always someone. Shut up, man. You talk when I say you talk. Right now, you just shut the hell up, man. Get your Maybe you're not the first badge that comes knocking on my door. Pensioning a paycheck, that just covers the rent. Too much temptation for the boys in blue nowadays. That honor and dignity, that was good for your father's world, but uh, nowadays it's about who's more ruthless. You see, I have certain expectations with my employees. You work hard, I reward you. Now you screw up. He's the one that hooked you up with my boy, Rago. He vouched for you. And because of that, a lot of my men were killed. 
Well, that does gotta be big. Take him away. Get his ass up. Come on, you piece of shit. Standard pay is five thousand a month. It goes down to three thousand during the holidays. So you gotta ask yourself, can you open your wallet and see that it's full of blood? We renegotiate after one year. Hey! Hey, I told you to sharpen the knife, man! Hey, what the hell are you doing, man? Why are you trying to kill a guy at a party for, huh? You got people here, man. Hey, get, get him out of here, huh? I'll take care of it, man. Get him out of here! I'll take care of it! Just relax! Hey, whatever you say, white boy. Just want to be sure I can count on you before I start sending you buckets of cash. What do you want? I'm in town because I'm on the verge of war. The Chinese are moving into my territories, messing with my business. On top of that, I got a white boy who doesn't want to pay taxes. I need you to straighten it out. When do I get paid? I'm letting you walk out of here. Trigger will take you to that white boy's house. He'll stay here with me. If there's a problem, I will take off his arm like a fly's wings, and I will beat you to death with it. You do as I ask, and he'll be okay. You got my word on it. I mean, even evil men gotta honor their word, right? Enjoy the party. This is a girl, man. You want me to uh, I'm good. hit the bar, man? You catch all that? Put him down, Clavo. Fear is what keeps a dog in line. Without it, he'll inevitably bite his master. Yeah, that cop's full of shit. I think they'll take care of him, huh? I like to handle this myself. No, no. I'm not gonna risk having you after a desperate cop. We'll give him back a snitch. Our guys will grab him when he's suspected. Keep it simple. It could be a major problem if you don't take him seriously. Clavo, I want to bring you his head. Give him to me. You remind me of your mother. May she rest in peace. Okay, CC. Here's your soul to take. Just be careful, huh? I will.
All you gotta do is jack his toe and rough him up a little. But not too much. We don't want to start a war with the bikers. It's broad daylight, guys. I can't get spotted here. This biker set up shop without a blessing. We just want to make sure he learns how to pay his taxes. Hold it. Give me the Roscoe. What if he has a gun? It's not my problem. Dan is going to jack this fool very bad. Juvie, and I do owe you one. What do you need? I need your dope. Come on. Take what you need.
my gun back. Didn't think you had it in you. All right, Tina. I got something to say to the Sarge. If it weren't for that beautiful man over there, I would not be a cop today and I would not have all of two friends. So let's raise our glasses. Here's to Sergeant Mike Martin. To a far more prosperous retirement than he had during his career. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I got a trillion reasons why I should retire. I'm old. I'm too good looking. <laughs> but they all sound wrong tonight, but uh, thanks a lot, very well. Thanks a lot, everybody. Speak up, it's my partner, let's go. It's gonna feel worse tomorrow. I know. Next round's on me. Come on, I, I, no, I got it. No, 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 no. Well, maybe. What can I get you, boys? Uh, two bourbons. What about you? Two bourbons. Two bourbons, two bourbons with a splash of water. Don't look at her. <laughs> no, forget it. It's not how to go with the cartel. This isn't the place, Mike. Look, you're breathing. Okay? That's a good sign. Now, your CI? <laughs> your CI looks like he's eating soup with a bowling ball up his ass up here. I spent the day surrounded by cartel assassins. He did? <laughs> Didn't you bring him here? I'm never getting you that. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Man of the hour. <laughs> <laughs> if only he could laugh. Uh, hey, 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 how are you guys doing? Hey, 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 nice seeing you. So, what are your uh, big plans for your retirement now? Oh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna run for president. I'm with Hillary Clinton. Oh, uh, well, that's great. Get some peace and quiet. Oh, Take it easy. Good. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's what's in all serious. What are you doing with this guy? Well, he's a, he's got a partner. <laughs> well, I couldn't get your attention, darling, so I gotta take what I can get. Ah, oh, jeez, come on. Hey, why don't we just leave the new sergeant alone? Huh? You're my wife, because you're my wife. She makes a hell of a meatloaf. It's unbelievable. No, she no, works no, it with this bacon. No, it's unbelievable. Did you just call me sergeant? You just called me sergeant. Hey, Congratulations, kid. You were supposed to find out that tomorrow. Congrats, kid. Like, yeah. Why did you do this? Because you're a good cop. Okay. Hey, wear my badge now, okay? I want to raise a glass to you. Okay. The Doyle for being one good cop, one honest cop. Thanks, guys. Sergeant, Sergeant Doyle. Sorry. Don't steal my thunder tonight, all right? Vasquez, just maybe drunk enough to you know, give it up for the old man tonight. You're good looking and you're young and you're a sergeant, so just go away. Hey. This is Doyle. I need a favor. Baba? Order some Chinese food. I need to take a note now, huh? This isn't a good time. Give it a night, mate. Governor for local triad. Some evil son of a bitch named Fat. One of those Asian cats opened up a massage parlor on one of my blocks, beat up one of my girls, and chased her out of the corner. What was the guy's name? Huh? The guy's name, what was his name? Oh, yeah. Any of you guys know the name? Oh, Does no. anybody know the guy's name? Oh, wait, wait, back up, man. I think it was Wayne or something like that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, his name is Vane. And he has seen his last sunrise. You understand that? Lieutenant Doyle. It's Pierce. A great party. But you're drinking. Didn't expect to see you here. Oh, I'm here to pay my respects. He's a good man. Yeah. So any news? News. Oh, yeah. I wanted to tell you man to man that I know what you're doing. 
I really don't want to see you do anything foolish, because you'll be lucky to live through it. The best you can hope for is to go away for a very long time. Enjoy the party. I hope you get one, too. Have a good night, detective. Please let me leave. I... I'm sorry I got you marked for death by the cartel. Right, let's get out of here. We're gonna run an errand. Where? Just around the corner. Piece of cake. Martin Doyle. I'm glad that Martin has found a suitable replacement. I'm really looking forward to filling his shoes. And by the way, thank you. Thank you very much for that warning about the raid at my Chatport house. Uh, we had just enough time to clear everything out. But then you've always done right by me many times. But now, with Martin out of the way, uh, Will you be able to assume some of his responsibilities? Wharton has a long history in the department. A lot of friends in many places. It takes time to develop the right contacts. And you are inexperienced and arrogant. Martin will consult. I'm sure he will facilitate a smooth transition. Now tell me, what about this Latino deal? Didn't Martin already explain it to you? Yes, but I want to hear it from the horse's mouth, since you are going to take over and set things up. Understand? You have weapons and heroin. The cartel has cocaine and cash. Through this deal, you'll both be able to diversify your portfolio and not get stuck in a single market economy. Sounds simple. But do you think I would share my territories, huh? The guns will go down south where the cartel needs them most. You still have the local market on that. What about my drugs? There's a cultural gap. The Latinos never sell in Asian neighborhoods and vice versa, but you'll be able to sell a wide variety of products to your clients now. And nobody gets killed. <laughs> I suppose you want a fee. Martin's usual. Uh, yes, uh, 5,000 per month. Martin said eight. Five is a good number. <laughs> 5,000. But there's one more thing. What do you want now? Clavo wants me to kill one of your guys. Ling? Fuck Clavo. He said Ling was moving in on his escort business. I love the cherry. was cutting into my profit too. <laughs> okay, you have a deal. There are a lot of changes in the wind, you know. And I'm going to Hong Kong in a week to facilitate those changes, and you, you're here. So you better not fail me, Lieutenant. I won't. It's getting hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> Cremation, people are dying to get in there. <laughs> Are you going to give him a hand? Hey. Come on. No, I don't. 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 No,
I love that tattoo. Hold on a second. You're sending that text to Clavo? Yep. That way. Need yeah, a fix. My stepfather wants me to kill you. But I haven't made up my mind yet. So your mom married a gangster. Somehow you ended up in this vicious business. Martin was gonna get me out. It's funny how I never mentioned it. He's gone now. My dad, he always owed money to the wrong people. Clavo didn't even have to pull the trigger. My mother, she was just Another tuned soul. And get you out from under Clavo. No weapons. Just give me his offshore account information. You play here to all your informants? Just the ones that want to kill me. But you're not an informant. Then what am I? You're his accountant. He's afraid of you. Aren't you afraid? you, my friend. You bolt from a rape without filing a statement? It's protecting my CI, boss. Yeah. Well, now Pearson and Roka want to have a little chat with you in my office. Now. Detective Doyle. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Listen, I got a lot of work. Can we get to it? Have a seat. Is this guy look familiar to you? Yeah, he's my CI. And uh, he was Martin's rat, right? So you inherited him from Martin? 
Guess you could say that. Did you inherit him as well? This isn't about the raid now, is it? No, it's not. It's about dirty cops. Like you and Martin, who take advantage of your position, prey on the innocent, and betray every single thing that that badge stands for. You think Martin was dirty? No, he was. Why don't you do something about it? Well, we would, but he already pulled the plug before we could bury him. You know what you know, what you can prove. But Harold Fat, now that is sipping one foot in the river of shit that Sergeant Martin was swimming in. Listen, guys, we can continue this when I have my union rep present, okay? Ah, oh, come on, Will. There's no need to go there. Look, just do your job, but give me space to do mine, okay? Don't spook my CIs. You know, I got two kids, both teenagers, and they make my life a living hell with the dating and the Twitter and the drinking, but I wouldn't have it any other way because every year it gets a little easier because it gets harder and harder for them to hide the guilt when they've done something wrong because nobody can live a double life. It's like a weight on your shoulders. It lives behind the eyes and it corrupts your spirit piece by piece. You can't hide forever, Lieutenant Doyle. Hope you find your lead detectives. You can count on it. I hate that guy. So what do you think? He's good, isn't he? Sushi? Yeah. Sushi. You have kids? You didn't tell me you had kids. I don't have You kids. don't have kids? No. I, I, I can't see her again. I don't want to be here. I don't belong here. I can't be here. I shouldn't be here. Doyle's not going to like this. I shouldn't be here. Mr. Porter, I'm delighted that you accepted my invitation. I didn't have much of a choice. Yes, you do. If you have guts. May I offer you a drink or some Chinese noodle? I have a knot in my stomach. No need, fair me. I ask you here as a friend. Doyle values you so much. Well, I'm a programmer, Miss Fang. Call me Jasmine! Jasmine! Uh, I developed software that can record it with users' keystrokes and embed a popworm into their drive. 
So you're going to rip off the cartel? Yes. That's fantastic! <laughs> But how do I know? Mr. Story will not do the same to my uncle when we conclude the transaction. Thank you for your honesty, Miss Porter. But I didn't say anything. Mm, but you did. Don't forget, I'm a woman, goddess of feelings. <sighs> I can feel your heated temperature, the slightest change in your shoulders. The tension starts from here uh, uh, and comes to your stomach. Uh, Then makes the other way to God. Neck. Mm. <laughs> Cute haircut. I don't mind Miss Doyle raping off the cartel. That is not my concern. I do, however, have a change of plans. Mm -hmm. That is not... What do I have to do? Do you know how Fat came to power? He killed his mentor. The student becomes the master. The prince becomes the king. This is the natural progression. What are you asking me to do? What Doyle told you to do. Rip off the cartel. And then? Once we conclude the transactions, I want you to kill Doyle. I can't. Then I will kill you both. So tell me, Miss Porter, can we be friends? <laughs> Delightful! It's a common courtesy to accept a beverage when you're a guest in someone's establishment. Any beast can be taken down by a thorn in its path, Eddie. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Fats. We're gonna get on his computer network and you're gonna use that thumb drive. Everything you need is on that thumb drive. Account names, passwords. I can't. Eddie, I just can't. I promise you, as soon as this is done, I'm gonna get you in rehab by the beach. New home, new name. It's gonna be a new life. We always do the right thing. Fat is leaving tomorrow and the cartel is going to war with the triad. It has to be now. I promise. Okay. Just... Last time, Doyle. Last time.
We got nothing on this guy. His friends, family, nothing. Just a few old addresses in his precincts he's worked at. He did his probation in Southwest. He's in good mood. Spit and polish, yes sir, no sir. Hang out with hood rats and become one. This guy grew up around him. Really? Yeah, K through 12. Imagine being the only white kid in the barrio. Five years on the force. Why become a cop? He doesn't have a citation or anything filed against him. I subpoenaed his military records, three sheets of paper. Start date, re-enlistment, discharge. You know what that means? It means it's been redacted. It's dangerous. Look at that. Martin's laying low at Doyle's place until he leaves town. Martin's still in town? Nobody's talking to you. I'm sorry, it's just, it's really hot in here. Is it hot in there? Oh, well, let's get you out. Thanks. These guys got their hands in a lot of pockets. And it takes a long time to cut those ties, and you're going to help us do that. I need to use your phone. You need my phone? Why? It's the only way I can help. There's a payphone right there. Can I get some change? You got any change? Hurry back. This guy. You know anything about the restaurant business? What does that have to do with any of this? My cousin, he opens up this diner out in Carson. Good down-home food. Lots of business. Couldn't keep up with it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Sure, great. That's good for him. Take me there sometime. Yeah, we can't. He had to shut it down. Saw a rat run across the counter. I get it. So every dirty cop is bad for the department, just like a, a rat can ruin a diner. He even went out and got a trap, baited it, caught a rat. Problem solved. Now, next day, he sees another rat, gets another trap, catches that rat, too. But it just kept going and going until the problem got out of control. Too many rats, not enough traps. So you're saying there's too many rats in the department? Yeah, I say, let's play this one loose. Let the rat go about his business, following back to the nest. That way, we catch a whole bunch of rats. Keep our business open. There's always more than one, huh? Yeah, always more than one. You're out shopping? What? Martin never left town. He's at your place right now, waiting for you. Hello? What are you doing here, Mike? <laughs> Can't you tell? Oh, I was taking a nap. Everything is on schedule. Hey, look, Will, you weren't supposed to run off with Clabo's only daughter. Mike, you could have gotten her out. Hey, look, I'm surprised you fell for the innocent girl routine. I really am. You know, there's blood on her hands. Did you know that? There is. I know what she's done. Hey, look. Okay. okay. You do? Yes. No, you don't. When Clabo finds out that you're not on ice, this will be his first stop. And she's marked for death, too, you know? So look, dig it. Finish the job. I'll keep her safe until it's over. Mike, you should be enjoying retirement, OK? I am. I just committed a double murder. <laughs> hey, look, 
This isn't a heist movie. This is real life, okay? We're not gonna be able to meet at the sunset at the beach somewhere like Don Johnson, okay? <laughs> so I had to kill him. What are you talking about? <laughs> you, know, you got guts where your brain should be, jerk. You, you know who you're playing with? There's going to be a war. You're going to be stuck in the middle. And then what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Eddie! Relax. Listen, it's gonna go smoothly, all right? You guys don't know who you're dealing with. You can't make me do this, please. Doyle's dirty. He's never gonna let you get out of this. Doyle's trapped by the Chinese. We're trying to help him out. You're probably saving his life right now. Is there something we should know? No. Eddie, you do understand that we are the only hope that he's got. Your fate is not tied to his. If you don't grab hold of this rope that I'm throwing you, you're both gonna drown. Whoa, man, what is the mouse with the wire? Yes, can I? Whoa, 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 a lot of trucks pulling up. Could be a cover operation. They'll kill me if they find the wire. I I'm back. Listen, it's for your own protection, all right? We've got the place surrounded by SWAT. If anything even sounds wrong, we're gonna come in and get you. What if they frisk me? Have they ever frisked you before? You got Jasmine's gun, right? Yeah, yeah, baby, everything's gonna be all right, man. Say something. I'm gonna die. Good to go. I remember the code phrase is, I'm done. Say it. I'm done. I'm done. All right, go earn your freedom. You think he's gonna screw it up? Maybe. When am I gonna get my gun? Hey man, when am I gonna get my gun? Hey, don't walk away like that. Hey yo, Eddie, don't worry about it, baby. I'ma get a gun. I got you.
Easy. Put the gun down and raise your hands. And we'll be cleaning you up from mile five to ten. Put it down. I knew you were going to be trouble. All the dirty cops on one of my time. Do something else. Why didn't you honor our agreement? I got so many cops on my payroll everywhere. No matter how dirty they are, they're not going to rip off a stash and do a hit for me. It's just too much. Didn't you want me to do those things? Just wanted Danny to bust you up a bit. And what about the triad? I was hoping Fat would kill you. Save me the trouble. Didn't think you would make it through the night. Shit. You might be of value to me. Don't you try that. I will cut you in half now. Why did you kill Cecilia's father? Now, what do you know about that? I'm not the discipline that though. Cowboy! Get over here! The rest of my boys, they're gonna have fun with you. Drop it. Me. You killed my father. No, I didn't kill your father. Now your mother, that's a different story. <laughs> Is that right? You let Martin know that we're even now, right? So that's how you got out after the raid. Hey, everybody needs a friend. Cecilia, will you be there? Thank <laughs> you. 
are you up to, Will? Congratulations on your promotion, Lieutenant Doyle. Thank you very much. Beautiful dress. I'm glad you noticed. It's okay. Well, Doyle. I imagine you have received my first uh, care package. Must be waiting for me at home. Oh. You try sure to I'm sure you'll get it. Uh, uh, What is that for? It's for the cartel's account numbers and passwords. I needed to do the transfer. Ah, mm. Kaya. Oh, Hey, how we doing? Couple minutes. It's unfortunate, Mr. Doyle, that you decided to cross me up. It could have been a long and profitable partnership, but then nothing lasts forever. I'm done. I'm done! I'm done. Done. Lights on over the threshold. Move! Transfer, Daddy. Tried operation and gun smuggling. Now, why would I do that? Even an old man like me can do time, right? All of your accounts have been drained. 
A good portion of that sits in a Swiss bank account with your name on it and a plane ticket ready to go. Cooperate, and they're yours, along with a new identity. Otherwise, what would they do with a traitor back home? FBI, drop your weapon! Let it go, go! <laughs> yeah, just another white guy, you know. <laughs> uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a senior citizen. I have rights. Hey, 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 I Bruce. Get him out of here. Cut it out. Now, my friend, you're going away for a long, long time. You piece of shit. Please, wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Hey, hold on, what you, what you doing, Eddie? Hey, Eddie, what you doing, man? Hey, oh, hey easy! Hey, you lied to me! Come on! Hey, Eddie! You lied to me! Easy! You lied to me! Before I put a bullet in his hand. Calm down, man. You can't do combat, man. Not here. Wait. Not here. What the fuck is that? You gonna tell me what this shit will drag you into? I can't. Who are you loyal to, son? He's the only one who ever cared. Get out of here. I'll cover for you. Hey, hey, hold up, Ed, man. Yo, the paramedics right here, man. Where you go? <laughs> hey, dog. Eddie, I was in the good, man. <laughs> oh, man, you did that, boy. Hell of a man. Hey, what the hell is this? What's going on? What are you talking about? Doyle got a lot of good men killed. What do you call it? It's over. Those are my friends. Those are your friends that died. You'll get commendation. He deserves a bullet and you know it. We got it. Go home. Sorry. Yes, sir. Let's go. You're going away for a long time. Hope you don't have any plans. Felony murder rap. Murder? Yeah. Several officers were killed because of your little felonious crime raid. He was a good cop. Yeah. He was a really good cop. A much better man than you. Are you remorseful? Yeah. Really? Why don't you get it off your chest and tell us about it? If I told you, would it do any good? Why don't you let us decide what difference it makes and tell me? Gentlemen, whatever's going on in here has to stop now. We're just shooting the breeze. Uncuff him. Gentlemen, my client is to be released immediately. No, 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 wait. Who the hell are you? I'm so glad you asked. I am Assistant United States Attorney David Klein. These forms are a federal writ and a subpoena appertaining to all of the records you have. I'm also going to need you to sign a non-disclosure agreement. This is the deal. Sign the paper. Where's yours? I already signed it.
Looks good. Look, I know this may be difficult for you to understand. Understand? <laughs> no. Do not patronize me. Explain it to me. What? How do you sleep at night? I don't. What do you know about counterterrorism? Counterterrorism? What does counterterrorism have to do with with dope and, and, and race wars in the valley? Everything. The local triad have weapons coming from North Korea and China. These guys aren't selling 22 caliber squirrel guns. We're talking rockets, C4 explosives, and machine guns. I don't recall seeing rocket launchers in Bakoima. They don't ship the weapons here, they go straight to the Middle East. Insurgents in the Middle East send opium to the cartel down south. Cartel down south sends money to the local triad. So you're telling me all of this is some sort of elaborate investigation on terrorism? There's got to be some other way. If you find one, let me know. You did a good job. Listen to me. You did good work. Both of you. Why didn't you tell me? One day out of nowhere, Homeland came in and threw down the terrorism card. And I had to follow. We got a whole bunch of rats today. <laughs>